trying out Coronet Peak's new $20 million ski lift. This pricey investment can whisk up to 3,000 passengers an hour to the field's highest point. NZ ski owner Sir John Davies says he's very happy with the asset. I think it's uh, certainly the most expensive bit of equipment that I've ever bought or ever been involved with. Mm. Uh, it was done and constructed in record time uh, and um, I'm thrilled with the product at the end of it. It'll be, it'll be magnificent for the public when they see it. He says the expense has been worth it to help the facilities stay ahead in the game. It's really a question of uh, just making sure that you have the equipment right, that there's no great lift queues and um, it's good skiing, we've, been, we've spent a lot of money on snow making and mm. base buildings and four wheel drive buses and I just have a philosophy that you've got to be safe, you've got to be good and you've got to be a leader. The same company also runs the remarkable ski area where plans for a replacement chairlift at the Sugar Basin were kiboshed in February after not getting approval from the Department of Conservation. Davies is confident he'll be able to install the $16 million lift later this year. Well, that's sitting in 50 or 60 containers, yes. and uh, it was disappointing to be uh, held up on that and stop. But fortunately we had uh, consent to do this one, yes. so it'll be next summer, it'll be a job for next summer. Coronet Peak opens on Saturday, but not for skiers or snowboarders, as recent rain has washed away much of the snow. Instead, the public can enjoy sledding and $30 sightseeing rides on the new chairlift. In Queenstown, for the South Today.